Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Blue Ridge. Thank you for taking time out of your morning to join me today. And as always, a little quick reminder uh, that there is a great way to support my channel, and that's simply hitting the like button if you enjoy today's content. I have something a little bit out of the box I'm going to share with you. It's pretty neat. But first of all, yes, 40% candy halves. Uh, they're... Um, plentiful out there not exactly in circulation uh, so much as the secondary market these things are cheap if you want cheap silver 40 percent candy apps i guess is the way to go um although some would say that these coins are not the easiest to trade back and forth because of the amount of effort it takes to refine them uh if someone were to scrap them so um yeah, aside from that, you know, it's uh, it's candy half dollar. All right, uh, iconic uh, president of the United States, and uh, one of which, you know, is going to grow as far as its uh, story and lore for many decades. So I was pretty interested when um, I came across one of these pop-out coins, it's, uh, the terminology for this is a re repoussé. It's a French term. And, um, it's the art of stamping or metalwork from behind an object. So that way it gives it that 3D pop-out look. And, um, I guess the real question is, because these are floating all over the internet, they're online and stuff like that. And uh, it's not new. Uh, these have been produced and made for a number of years now, if not decades. And um, I wanted to talk to you about the novelty of the whole thing and value. Um, is it even worth it to pick up one of these? Um, because a, a traditional 40% half dollar like this is what, two bucks or less? Um, it's not a lot of money. It's not a great investment vehicle in terms of silver but this is the same date coined this 1966 this is a um 40 percent also and there is a reverse with the um the 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 reverse repoussé punch on there uh this was stamped uh on a machine that had this already set up and uh well as far as the die has been engraved and embossed and everything like that raised sorry but as you can see um i i mean it's it's a very well done piece uh but there there are a lot of these out there i paid 35 dollars for this which is what i thought was the median for such a trinket um i don't know did do we still call it coins at this point i mean it's on a coin uh, but it's it's treated more so of a novelty uh, slash I guess jewelry piece. Um, it's kind kind of hard to uh, to say, but again, it's very well crafted, and uh, there are some that I've seen online that don't look particularly nearly as good. For example, that the hairlines on here um, are kind of cartoonish on a few of them. Uh, this one looks pretty good and it actually looks like the likeness of the former president. If you say, uh, the way I see it is because I've, I've seen these produced in clad. So the post 1970s, I've seen them produced in 40%, which is what this one is. And I've also seen them on 64s, the full 90% silver. And depending, I guess, on which one you get. I would say the clad ones are the most economical. Traditionally, you don't see those no more than 10 to 15 bucks. Those dates are the most plentiful. Okay, this would be second. Uh, you want to be somewhere in 30 $35 range. And finally, the 64 90% silver, uh, you shouldn't pay over 50 bucks for it. And that's just based off of what I see online previous sales. Um, there's a lot of buy it nows in that thirty to fifty dollar range. Do not pay more than this. Um, these are again really common, plentiful, and um, 
they don't, uh, you know, they, they have a pretty good secondary market, but it's not as robust as it once was, say, 10 years ago, when more and more of these were, um, you know, uh, out there. Um, but nonetheless, it's a really neat pickup. I've never owned one of these before, and I've seen, like, the Morgan Dollars and uh, a few of the other coin types that have the same pop-out feature. Uh, it's, it's, if it's done really good, you know, it's, it's fantastic. You have the, you know, the cheekbones and the muscular features of the face, uh, that kind of show through, um, pretty neat. Yeah. That kind of looks like him, right? <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Thank you for joining in on this one. Uh, I guess I really didn't need to spend, need to spend five, six minutes talking about a pop out coin, but they're neat in the marketplace. Again, don't overpay for these things. Um, traditionally they're crafted on common dated coins, I even the earlier Morgans and peace dollars and that sort of thing. So you want to make sure that, uh, you're keeping everything in line with a short premium above and beyond silver melt value. Um, for this particular instance, uh, $35 for the 40% is doable. Uh, I've seen this, seen these go as high, like at coin shops, as high as 70 to a hundred dollars and that's really out there uh but anyways thanks again for joining this morning stay tuned for more great content uh as always if you enjoy today's stuff go, go ahead and hit the like button down here and um yeah keep hunting keep collecting enjoy it and i'll see you on the next one take care guys